year ago today, I accomplished what is most certainly the biggest achievement of my YouTube and arguably backyard career so far. One year ago today, 365 days ago, I won the 2019 Kip Clips promo competition, therefore making me the Kip Clips promo champion. Now, I made this championship myself, but the, uh, the champion name, it still counts. You know, there's, there's a promo champion. I've defended this championship. It's an actual championship. Before I get into it, let me take you guys back to 2018, two years ago. Kip Clips done something fantastic for the YouTube wrestling community. He decided to do a competition in which any wrestling YouTuber from anywhere in the world, no matter how big you are, no matter how small you are, you don't even have to be a YouTuber. As long as you have a channel, you can make a video and enter the 2018 Kip Clips promo competition. Now, this system was done by voting in the comment section. So there was a, I believe there was a playlist and you could look at all the different promo competition entries. And in the end, you comment on Kip's video who you want to win. And the person that got the most comments won. So, little me, uh, two years ago, I say little, it was literally only two years ago. Um, February 2018, let's say that's where it was. I was in year 11 at school, so my final year of mainstream education. Um, about to sit my GCSE exams in just a few months. My YouTube career, I believe I was, I don't even know if I was at 100 subscribers yet. I might have been, but I can't really remember. Um, but I saw this opportunity as a big opportunity. So I wanted to take it with both hands. I wanted to grab the ball. I wanted to run with it. And I wanted that one-on-one -on -one match with Kip Clips. So I, uh, I personally believe that I cut one of the best promos uh, of 2018 and a lot of people thought that as well no one knew who joe talks wrestling was at this time but yet i still had enough votes that got me into fourth place of the kip clips 2018 promo competition obviously at number one was prince will gamer and obviously being on the large scale he was will cut a fantastic promo but the amount of people that voted for him absolutely blew the rest of us out the water so I thought, you know what, I didn't win it this year, but next year, next year I'm coming for Kip Clips. I want that match. So 2019 comes along. The video is made and this year Kip Clips has done a much more reasonable and a much more efficient way of finding out who is the number one. So the Kip Clips 2019 promo competition comes around and this time I don't have to win over Kip Clips. I don't have to win over some kids in the comment section. I have to win over four judges. And I did exactly that. Other than Con Man, I was the number one vote for all of the other three judges. I was the top of the leaderboard, ready to claim my championship. So... I was ready, I was willing, but there was one guy that was on level with me. One guy that I hope, I really hope comes back for the promo competition this year. I doubt you are watching this video, but VP Show, your promo was absolutely fantastic. I beat you by the skin of my teeth. So whenever Kip does the promo competition this year, I hope to see him return. But that was it. I'd won. Then the answer was, what's next? So Kip Clips ducked me for a long time. He acted like I didn't exist. After he roasted me, I took that as a personal violation. I wasn't going to take that on the chin. You don't talk about me like that and get away with it. You do not disrespect Joe freaking Anthony and get away with it. So I did a little digging, probably uh, crossed the line a couple times, but... I attacked Kip Clips in Smith's Toys. I went to his house and attacked him during a live stream, live, um, and I issued the challenge. Kip accepted my challenge and we had our one-on-one -on -one backyard brawl. But before that, Kip wanted to get his revenge. So he attacked me in my alleyway, you know, becoming a bit even. So we had our one-on-one -on -one backyard brawl in which I won the 24-7 championship 
and retained my promo championship. Kip Clips came for my promo championship and I beat him. Um, but he wasn't happy with that. Obviously, there is, once a champion loses championship, there's normally a rematch clause. There was in this case. Kip wanted his 24-7 title back. Um, this video isn't about the 24-7 championship. A fair amount of things happened while I was champion, but we're not going to dive into that here. So me and Kip had our rematch. We had the rematch and he wanted a tables match. Now I was thinking, absolutely, I've beat you once. I know I can put this guy through a table. You know, Anthony Three Belt, still a thing. World heavyweight, promo, 24-7 champion. I was on top of the world. Absolutely on top of the world. The backyard wrestling world hadn't seen a mainstream feud like this in a long time and me and kip clips we ruled the youtube world of sort of backyard wrestling um and a wrestling feud we ruled it for a fair probably about a month or so we were on top and we had the rematch and due to a certain finian making his return and distracting me Kip Clips was able to hit me with a skateboard and I went crashing through the table. I can never get enough of it. So ladies and gents, roll the clip. Kate is back, baby! Stop! Ouch. That sucked. Well and truly sucked. But you know what sucked more? The fact that I had lost to Kip Clips. The fact that now he could say that we were even. But you know what? He earned my respect. I looked at Kip Clips, I, I, I looked at him and I realised the opportunity that this man has given me. Kip gave me the opportunity to show my character. He gave me the opportunity to show who I am. And he gave me the opportunity to grow in front of a larger audience. And for that, I will forever be grateful to Kip Clips. So, a lot happened. I did many open challenges on my channel, all of which the promo championship was never on the line. There's very specific rules about this championship. And if I was to make the rules, I don't know, they might alter. But the way I view it, it doesn't get defended unless it's against the man who gave it to you. So Kip Clips is the only man that can challenge for the promo championship. And other than that, the champion holds it from promo competition to promo competition. Now, I've had a lot of time in this lockdown, in this quarantine, to think. I said last year, this was a promo championship that was just for me. I want to make this announcement, and I'm sure Kip will as well when the promo competition returns. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 Kip Clips promo competition, whenever it will be, if you enter, you will receive, if you win, if you become the 2020 promo competition winner, the promo champion, you will receive, courtesy of me, your very own promo championship. The 2020 version with your name on the bottom. You will receive that. So this video has gone on a lot longer than I anticipated it to. I've been one year as promo champion. My time as promo champion is something I will never forget. The Kip Clips feud has been absolutely fantastic. Mark my words, I will work with Kip in the future. Me and him have got a very good working relationship right now. We took each other to hell and back. We respect each other now. Um, so... Me and Kip Clips will work together again. I want to say once again, thank you, Kip, for the opportunity. It has been one whole year as promo champion. And until the promo competition this year starts and finishes, there is a new champion crown. I am the Kip Clips promo champion. And I will forever be the 2019 promo competition winner. Thank you all for watching. Kip, once again, thank you for the opportunity. Let's see what the future holds and I will see you all in the near future. Goodbye.